Good morning. Got dogs chasing each other in the background. I just finished taking water and uh, feed to the chickens in the chicken tractor that still doesn't have wheels. And I just got done milking, so I'm getting ready to take that in. But I thought I would show you my garden. I'm not really as pleased with my garden this year as I was last year. And I think it's partly because of the chickens. Um, and I've not been able to get out here as much as what I had last year, it seems like maybe. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's kind of a mess. Uh, my comfrey does really well. It's just like everywhere. I think I'm gonna trim it back. And of course, the dogs don't help either. But the chickens are out here. And I know I've mentioned that before. I'm sharing, hey, 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 hey. I'm sharing the garden with the chickens. I've got dill coming up everywhere. I planted a whole row of beets. I do see some coming up, but I'm wondering if the chickens are eating them as soon as they come up. So I can't figure out what I want to do there. I mean, I could literally make smaller hoops and hoop this whole row and put deer netting over it because I have plenty. I just don't know that I want to do that. I may have to do it though. I don't know. So it's just kind of like, what do I want to do? And I mean, I could literally drive, you know, a rebar in the ground and have this ready, keep it in there. And um, that way I have hoops. I can just slip the hoops right over the top of it. That's what we did to the caterpillar tunnel. But I don't know if I really want to do that. I mean, I don't know. So I have to decide because this stuff is, while it bends well at 10 foot, um, I'm gonna have to try some of these smaller pieces and see how well they bend. May have to get some of the stuff that's a little bit more flexible if I want to do that to my rows. Um, I do have those, like that, all that tall over there was the chicken coop last year, and or the chicken run last year. And um, now that I have them out, that's like growing like crazy. Uh, we had uh, scraps and I had pushed some manure and stuff in there. That's where I was putting stuff. And so that stuff is growing really well over there. I had planned to put some garden over there, but I'm kind of unsure right now. I'm thinking I may actually wall off where this, um, where these pallets are was actually where the coop went all the way down and then that kind of that back uh, fencing stuff. So I thought about taking this wall of pallets and fencing it and then going back that way to the woods with the chickens so that that would encourage them to go that way and maybe not this way. I don't know. They don't stay in my garden the whole time. They do get out in the yard and, um, and stuff like that as well. But, but I do notice a difference already. I just put the this netting up this is deer netting it's not the heavy duty kind um which i might need for the actual row covers because this is kind of difficult to work with it sticks to everything um see so if you can see my tomato plant in there let me get you a closer look see how there's leaves gone yeah that's chickens now why in the world they ate those leaves i have no idea because they never messed with my tomato plants before but so I have zucchini coming back out because uh, they were eating this as soon as it came up as well. So my sugar snap peas are coming back up. They were eating that as well. Ooh, the sun's bright. Um, this one was already netted off and uh, so was this one and that's why everything in here is doing so well. I need to get this mustard. This mustard was actually in my greenhouse. I had hung some of it. Um, in there to dry and get the seeds and the seeds fell and I had mustard coming up. I still have some coming up I'm pretty sure and this Needs to be picked because otherwise it's gonna get huge and take over but that's spaghetti squash and I had to buy peppers this year because uh, My peppers did not do well at all and um, these tomato plants are mine that I started but they're just very small They're just they're not doing very well, and I don't know if I didn't start them early enough. Maybe that's it I'm not really sure um, but this beet and carrot bed hasn't done really well. I think it's done well where the water um, has been running because this compost that I have in here is kind of has a hard layer. So I think I need to start breaking it up and then watering, kind of scratching it a little bit. Um, but I mean, I did stick some tomatoes in the center there. This is another one that I just netted off because these are radishes and they were eating off the tops. Uh, this is new as well. I'm going to uh, plant something over here that will climb. I'm just not sure what yet. Um, because I do have, let's see, I have spaghetti squash planted. I have cucumbers planted. I have sugar snap peas planted. So if I wanted to plant like a uh, sugar rush, uh, one of those little bitty sugar rush watermelons, I could do that. Which 
probably need to do that today. Now, this wild yarrow, um, not sure that that was a great option, but I do have onions coming up around it. I did plant those, and those are finally coming up. The chickens have actually been getting in here and laying eggs. Uh, there's none in there today, but yeah. This wild yarrow, I still have some in the yard, but I don't think this was a good uh, place to put it. I don't know. I may have to move that at somewhere else and use that bed for something else. I don't know. Uh, this is kale. I put kale in here. Uh, the carrots weren't actually coming up that well, so I put kale in here. And uh, now the carrots are coming up like crazy. Look like a carrot forest. I need to cut some of this kale back before um, you know the moths get in there. I'm not really sure what happened there. That looks like a chicken. Not sure how she got in there, uh, but we'll see. Now over here we have kohlrabi. This has been netted the, almost the whole time, and it looks like I probably need to get this picked. Uh, most of these need to be picked, especially like that one and this one right here, and there's a couple back there that need to be picked and um, maybe sprayed. I have some neem oil. I'm trying to keep ahead of the pests. Um, but I'm not sure if I will do a good job of that, so we'll see. Now this next bed here is cabbage, and I believe maybe Brussels sprouts. Um, those aren't doing super great because um, I think I put them out too early. I didn't have it netted completely. Um, I did have like the I did have something over the ones in the back, and then I took that off. And of course, the chickens got in there and ate some of it. So I put this on here, and it's ripped over here. This netting will rip very easily. If something gets caught on it and it looks like I need to fix it again because there's this hole and they can find anything the chickens anything they get in there and they eat that now this I just netted as well this is asparagus and I intercropped some of uh, the sugar snap peas are on the side where the trellis is and then I also planted some kale and you can't really see it really well because I just netted this and the chickens have been feasting on kale so I'm hoping the um, kale will come back out. It looks like it's going to. So I just need to cut off all the spots where they ate and um, let it come back out. So I do have to work on this. I did buy myself a little battery powered rototiller and I really like it. It works really well. And um, grab this milk. And um, I also got a weed eater that works on the same battery. So it's pretty cool. I don't know. We've got tadpoles in the pool. And uh, other than that, I guess it's going really well so far. I've got lots and lots of flowers planted and they're coming up really well. I still have tomatoes um, over here and they're looking, they're looking kind of sad. They probably need to be planted up because, uh, or potted up because, or in the ground. In the ground would probably be a good option. I do have some little spilanthes. These are called toothache plants. If you've ever seen these, um, they can be used medicinally what they do is they actually cause your mouth to go a little bit numb uh, they hit the saliva and uh, wherever that hit travels now I've never tried the flowers but I have tried the a little bit of the, the leaf because I figure if I'm growing it I'm telling people about it should probably try it but you can actually make um, a mouth rinse with it uh, I have put some in like vodka and let it set and I haven't used it you're supposed to use like a little bit of vodka with of the or a little bit of the tincture with water and then rinse with that so haven't tried that yet though I don't know if I'm brave enough we'll see but anyways I'm headed inside the grandbaby's coming today I'm gonna take this milk in get some of my other stuff done I've got clothes to hang out on the line lots to do today so I hope you have a wonderful day and don't forget to be lovely lights today